Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates. Topic for today's quiz is UPSC TSAPF Question Paper 2016 Paper 1 Question number 1 The Paris Agreement adopted in Conference of the Parties, COP21, in December, 2015, will be effective provided the document is signed by Option A 51 UNFCCC parties accounting for at least 51% of global greenhouse gas emission. Option B. 51 UNFCCC parties accounting for at least 55% of global greenhouse gas emission. Option C. 55 UNFCCC parties accounting for at least 55% of global greenhouse gas emission. Option D. 75 UNFCCC parties accounting for at least 51% of global greenhouse gas emission. The correct answer is Option C. 55 UNFCCC parties accounting for at least 55% of global greenhouse gas emission. At 21 Colombian pesos in Paris, on the 12th of December 2015, Parties to the UNFCCC reached a landmark agreement to combat climate change and to accelerate and intensify the actions and investments needed for a sustainable low-carbon future. The Paris Agreement builds upon the Convention and, for the first time, brings all nations into a common cause to undertake ambitious efforts to combat climate change and adapt to its effects, with enhanced support to assist developing countries to do so. As such, it charts a new course in the global climate effort. Question number 2. Which one of the following cities hosted the 12th South Asian Games, 2016? Option. Patiala. Option B. Kochi. Option C. Guwahati. Option D. Agartala. The correct answer is. Option C. Guwahati. The 2016 South Asian Games. Officially the 12th South Asian Games is a major multi-sport event which took place from 5 February to the 16th of February 2016 in Guwahati and Shillong, India. A total of 2,672 athletes competed in 226 events over 22 sports. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated the 2016 South Asian Games in Guwahati on 5 February 2016. India continued its dominance in the Games medal tally with a staggering 308 medals including 188 gold medals. Question number 3. The latest trophy introduced in Indian domestic cricket competition is Option A. Deodhar Trophy Option B. Vijay Hazare Trophy Option C. Sayyad Mushtaq Ali Trophy Option D. Dilip Trophy The correct answer is Option D. Dilip Trophy. The 2018-19 domestic cricket season in India begins with the Dilip Trophy. The Dilip Trophy is a domestic first-class cricket competition in India. It is named after Kumar Shri Dilip Singh Haji of Navanagar who is also known as Dilip. The competition was originally contested by teams representing geographical zones of India. Question number 4. Who among the following may be the chairman of the Zilla Parishad? Option A. Chief Minister. Option B. District Collector. Option C. Member of Parliament in the district. Option D. Elected from its own members. The correct answer is. Option D. Elected from its own members. President and Vice President are elected among its own members. While the CEO of Zilla Parishad is IAS. Question number 5. What is meant by social equality? Option A. Each person should perform the functions according to his status. Option B. No effort should be made to modify the existing social system. Option C. No person should be made to suffer a position of relative inferiority in relation to other men due to caste, race or religion. Option D. Special effort to improve the lot of weaker section. The correct answer is. Option C. No person should be made to suffer a position of relative inferiority in relation to other men due to caste, race or religion.
Social equality is a state of affairs in which all people within a specific society or isolated group have the same status in certain respects, including civil rights, freedom of speech, property rights, and equal access to certain social goods and services. Question number 6. Which one of the following is not a feature of Indian federalism? Option A. Every state government has powers of its own. Option B. Courts have the power to interpret the constitution and the powers of different levels of government. Option C. States are subordinate to the central government. Option D. Sources of revenue for each level of government are clearly specified. The correct answer is. Option A. Every state government has powers of its own. Federalism is a type of government, which has its powers divided among state and center. The Constitution of India does not accord equal representation to all states in the Rajya Sabha. The representation is based on the size of the population in the state. Question number 7. The joint training exercise, Garura Shakti, is conducted as part of military diplomacy between Indian Army and Option A. Bangladesh Army Option B. Royal Bhutan Army Option C. Nepalese Army Option D. Indonesian Army. The correct answer is. Option D. Indonesian Army. Indo-Indonesia Joint Training Exercise Garuda Shakti is conducted as part of military diplomacy between armies of both countries, alternatively in India and Indonesia respectively. The first edition bilateral exercise was conducted on a reciprocal basis in 2012 in India. The second edition was conducted in Indonesia in 2013 and the third in India in 2014. Question number 8. Which one of the following statements regarding human rights is not correct? Option A. Human rights derive their inspiration from moral principles. Option B. They are applicable subject to their adoption by states. Option C. The International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights was adopted by the United Nations in the year 1948. Option D. The universalism of human rights is challenged by the cultural relativists. The correct answer is. Option C. The International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights was adopted by the United Nations in the year 1948. It consists of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Adopted in 1948, the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, ECPUR, 1966, with its two optional protocols, and the International Covenant on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights, ISCR, 1966. Question number 9. Which of the following is not a characteristic of the permanent settlement? Option A. The permanent settlement vested land ownership rights in the zamindar. Option B. The permanent settlement continued to pay attention to the customary occupancy rights of peasants. Option C. The burden of the high revenue assessment was shifted to the peasants under the permanent settlement. Option D. The condition of the actual cultivators of the land declined under permanent settlement. The correct answer is. Option B. The permanent settlement continued to pay attention to the customary occupancy rights of peasants. The permanent settlement, also known as the Permanent Settlement of Bengal, was an agreement between the East India Company and Bengali landlords to fix revenues to be raised from land that had far-reaching consequences for both agricultural methods and productivity in the entire British Empire and the political realities of the Indian countryside. It was concluded in 1793 by the company administration headed by Charles, Earl Cornwallis. It formed one part of a larger body of legislation, known as the Cornwallis Code. The Cornwallis Code of 1793 divided the East India Company's service personnel into three branches, revenue, judicial, and commercial. Revenues were collected by zamindars, native Indians who were treated as landowners. This division created an Indian landed class that supported British authority. Question number 10. Who among the following founded the Atmiya Sabha in 1815? Option A. Keshava Chandrasen. Option B. 
देवेंद्रनाथ टैगोर ऑप्शन सी राम मोहन रॉय ऑप्शन डी बिजोय कृष्ण गोस्वामी द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी राम मोहन रॉय आत्मीय सभा वॉज अ फिलोसॉफिकल डिस्कशन सर्कल इन इंडिया The association was started by Ram Mohan Roy in 1815 in Kolkata. The sabha conducted debates and discussions on philosophical topics and promoted free and collective thinking and social reform. Question number 11. Which one among the following is the oldest regiment of Indian Army? Option A. Sikh Regiment. Option B. Kumau Regiment. Option C. Punjab Regiment. Option D. Madras Regiment the correct answer is option D Madras Regiment the Madras Regiment is the oldest armed regiment in the Indian army it is one of the very oldest ones and people are saying it is formed in the year back in the 1750s the regiment has been through many campaigns with both the british indian army and the post independence indian army question number 12 Which one of the following cities has been identified as the best habitable city in the 18th Mercer Quality of Life study 2016 Option A Munich Option B Vienna Option C Zurich Option D Vancouver The correct answer is Option B Vienna Vienna has been top ranked by the Mercer Quality of Living Survey since 2009 and topped the EU ranking in 2018. Sydney was ranked as the world's third most livable city in 2019, making it the second Australian city in the top 5. Australia, along with Canada, are the only two countries to have more than two cities in the top 10. Question number 13. Which one of the following states won the 61st National School Athletics Championship in the year 2016? Option A. Punjab. Option B. Kerala. Option C. Maharashtra. Option D. Tamil Nadu. The correct answer is Option B. Kerala. Kerala has won the 61st National School Athletics Championship which concluded in Kori Code. With this, Kerala host become champions in the event for the 19th consecutive time the state also has won 10 meet records out of 20 records which were reported in the meet question number 14 in february 2016 which one of the following countries has rejected the plea of the incumbent president through a referendum to contest the presidential election for the third term option a brazil option b paraguay Option C Bolivia Option D Peru The correct answer is Option C Bolivia Bolivia has rejected the plea of the incumbent president through a referendum to contest the presidential election for the third term Question number 15 The theory of separation of powers is a division of powers between Option A Central and state governments Option B different branches of government option c the polity and the economy option d state and local governments the correct answer is option b different branches of government the theory of separation of powers deals with the functional division of powers between the three organs of the government which is the legislature the executive and the judiciary question number 16 The 10th schedule to the Constitution of India relates to option A the provisions relating to the formation of district councils option B the land reforms option C the states and union territories option D the anti defection law the correct answer is option D the anti defection law the 10th schedule of the Indian Constitution which talks about the anti defection law is designed to prevent political defections prompted by the lure of office or material benefits or other like considerations the anti defection law was passed by parliament in 1985 and reinforced in 2002 question number 17 the amending power of the parliament set forth in which one of the following articles of the constitution of india option a Article 368 Option B 
Article 360. Option C. Article 13 2. Option D. Article 370. The correct answer is Option A. Article 368. Article 368 in Part 20 of the Constitution deals with the powers of the Parliament to amend, modify, the Constitution and its procedure. This procedure ensures the sanctity of the Constitution of India and keeps a check on the arbitrary power of the Parliament of India. Question number 18. With regard to a Constitution Amendment Bill, which one of the following statements is not correct? Option A. The Speaker of the Lok Sabha can call a joint sitting of both the Houses to pass the bill. Option B. Each House needs to pass the bill separately by a prescribed special majority. Option C. The bill can be introduced in either House of Parliament. Option D. The bill can be sponsored by a private member. The correct answer is Option A. The Speaker of the Lok Sabha can call a joint sitting of both the Houses to pass the bill. Constitution bills need to be passed by a two-thirds majority in each house separately. Joint sitting can't be called for passing this bill. Question number 19. Cut motion can be introduced after the presentation of Option A. Any bill introduced in the Parliament. Option B. The Railway and General Budgets. Option C. Any private member's bill. Option D. A Constitution Amendment Bill. The correct answer is Option B. The Railway and General Budgets. The cut motion is a power given to the members of the Lok Sabha to oppose a demand in the financial bill discussed by the government. If a cut motion is adopted by Parliament and the government does not have the numbers, it is obliged to resign as per the rules of the Lok Sabha. Question number 20. Who among the following divided governments into Republican? Monarchical and despotic. Option A. Aristotle. Option B. Hobbes. Option C. Montesquieu. Option D. St. Augustine. The correct answer is Option C. Montesquieu. Many writers have classified the government, such as Aristotle, Rousseau, Montesquieu, Van Mohe. Aristotle classification has been considered as one of the very fundamental. Other writers have tried to evolve the modern classification. Montesquieu has divided government into republican, monarchical, and despotic. Question number 21. Who among the following coined the terms demand polity and command polity? Option A. Lloyd I. Rudolph and Susan H. Rudolph. Option B. Rajni Kothri. Option C. Sudipta Kaviraj. Option D. Paul Brass. The correct answer is Option A. Lloyd I. Rudolph and Susan H. Rudolph. Lloyd and Susan Rudolph were world renowned political scientists and an iconic academic couple who devoted six decades of their lives to teaching and researching India and South Asia. Lloyd I. Rudolph and Susan H. Rudolph tried to find the correlation between the nature of the polity of state and economic characteristics. Question number 22. Which one of the following is the famous novel written in 1869 by Nazir Hamad? Option A. Twilight in Delhi. Option B. Mira to Lurus. Option C. Bahishti Zevar. Option D. City of Jinns. The correct answer is. Option B. Mira to Lurus. Mira to Lurus is an Urdu language novel written by Muslim author Nazir Ahmad Dehelvi and published in 1869. The novel contains themes promoting the cause of female education in Muslim and Indian society. Nazir Ahmad, 1830-1912, was an Urdu writer, social and religious reformer, and scholar. Question number 23. The earliest literary references to iron in the Indian subcontinent are found in the Option A. Rigved. Option B. Samuved. Option C. Yajurveda. Option D. Vinayapitaka. The correct answer is Option C. Yajurveda. The earliest literary references to iron in the Indian subcontinent are found in later Vedic literature. The terms Krishna Ayas. Shama 
and Shyama Ayas, the black or dark metal, in the Yajurveda and Atharveda clearly refer to this metal. Question number 24. Identify from the following the novel written by Charles Dickens that critique the adverse impact of industrialization on the poor. Option A. The Day Before America. Option B. Hard Times. Option C. Creating a Nation. Option D. The Courtier. The correct answer is. Option B. Hard Times. The Industrial Revolution was an era of mechanization. During this era, in 1854, Charles Dickens, 1812 to 1870, wrote Hard Times to comment upon the change within society and its effect on its people. A. A. Dickens points out the flaws and limitations of this new society in his eloquent and passionate plea on behalf of the working poor. A. A. Charles Dickens A. A. Hard Times, 2000. Question number 25. Who among the following is the winner of the 8th Human Rights Award by Amnesty International, Germany? Option A. Manir Rahman. Option B. Abel Barrera. Option C. Alison Com. Option D. Henri Tephagne. The correct answer is. Option D. Henri Tephagne. Berlin, the 25th of January 2016. Indian lawyer and human rights defender Henri Tiphagne will be awarded the 8th Human Rights Award by Amnesty International Germany. The award, which will be presented at an official ceremony on the 25th of April at the Maxim Gorky Theatre in Berlin, is a recognition of Henri Tiphagne's exceptional commitment to human rights. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now. Link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.